You know what we gonna do? What the fuck are you talking about, Dunn? What are you Grand talking about? Is available <laughs> to to Grand Central. Shut your candy ass up! You can't stop me! Come on. Get the f*** out of here, niggas. You niggas think it is a game, huh? They got some f***ing joke? Ain't no fighting scenes. Like Man of Steel, bro. I ain't see it And clear of the closing doors, please. Niggas, you bitch made ass bitches, you real ass niggas, and you real ass bitches. Crack in the age, the podcast, aka. I used to fuck your bitch back in the day, my nigga. The podcast, mm. aka. That was crazy. The podcast. AKA, we didn't do this in a while. I was listening to our old vi- episodes and we was doing this. So I decided to do it this episode as like an anniversary type thing. The podcast. The podcast. The podcast. <clears throat> AKA, the devil is a lie. I seen that nigga stealing the podcast. AKA, the devil is a lie, but he was telling the truth about that bitch. The podcast. <laughs> AKA, the devil is alive. I seen that nigga on 145th the other day. The podcast. AKA, AKA. And them niggas is gay. The podcast. The podcast. Chit, 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 chit. <laughs> so y'all used to do that. that wow, damn. See, we real podcasters, nigga. We be. We, 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 we had phases. Swear, like, we for real. Phases. I'm going through phases. I'm going <laughs> through phases. <laughs> Word, niggas really had we was we was we was selling crack on the pod. We was rapping on the pod. We had AKAs. Mm-hmm. We did a lot of shit, man. The only That's thing we didn't do, we promised the crack rock La familiar. We didn't have ass shaking yet on the pod. We're working on the ass shaking. The couches are still coming. It's just a lot. We've got a high demand of People wanting the couches. And again, we said they come with bitches. And it's hard finding bitches that wants to come in a group package with a couch. It's not, it's, it's, it sounds good, but it's hard to fucking make happen. So just, That sounds great. A bunch of bitches wanting to come? Wow. The couple, with, with the, the couch. couch. With the couch. With the couch. The couch is coming couch too. And you get a bitch. So, and we're going to start holding interviews at the end of the year. So we keep you updated. We're going to put some applications on the site. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And you, yes, you have to send us your social security number. Yes, you have to send us your state ID. Yes, because we don't want no weirdos. That's a fact. The podcast. The podcast. And we don't want no scamming ass niggas either. So if you got you to use a dummy card or trying to scam, no, nigga. Because we going to fuck you up and then we going to go to the cops. <laughs> nah, facts. We going to beat your ass and then we going to tell. And then we going to tell. Right? You know what I mean? we, You know what I'm saying? Facts. Because, you know, we don't condone snitching, but this is legal money. So we, mm-hmm. we have the right to do that. Mm-hmm. And you, I mean, right. you're not going to fuck us over. Yeah, you're not going to fuck us over. No. It's all right. Nah. We're going to beat you the fuck up. We're going to be like, oh, yeah, pull up. Come get the couch. Stomp you out. And then the cops going to be outside. This nigga trying to scam my shit. Nah, facts. We going to treat you niggas like Vitaly and them niggas be doing on the live streams when they be catching the pedos. Yeah, word. We going we gonna to whoop your ass. And you going to think you free, and then the cops going to be outside, nigga. It's over. This nigga was trying to steal. Book him, Danny. Yep. The podcast. Episode 112, Cracking the 80s, crack, where the players crack, dwell. Crack, 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 oh, that's a nice... Episode 112, where the players dwell. That shit just rolled off the tongue. Did it did It just roll the tongue for you? Pause. Don't, don't tell me how my tongue roll. Yeah. No, I'm saying, I'm saying that rolled off your tongue. Pause. Yo. Wait, why you what? Yeah, why? What, what's going on, bro? And yeah, that was kind of crazy, bro. And, and he said it twice too. He said, "Yeah, he was re- like going back on it." Yeah, oh, like what was that was crazy. With- that was crazy. That was <laughs> going back on. I'm not. I'm nah, not nah, nah, person. nah, 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 nah. Look, yeah, he, trying he trying to flip it. Yeah, he trying, yeah, he yeah. trying to hit the Uno reverse. Nah, because yeah, that's what you did, my boy. Like, <laughs> that's what happened. We, we, I'm not. Everybody I'm not heard the type of person to go we back on you. things. Oh. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> the world heard it now, bro. Everybody heard it. 
episode 112 for the players <laughs> cracking the 80s man episode 112 that's fire we on episode 112 shout out to 112 got it got it. what's the name of that album they did with peaches and cream all them hits that mm-hmm. was even mm-hmm. on the hundredth albums list let's see what was that album name that was uh 112 something room i think it might have been room, was it room 112, 112? yeah room 112 yeah that's a classic fucking album. I'm a player. Peaches and cream. Fuck I, it. I tried to search peaches. I searched 112 pieces. Jesus Christ. Hey, yo, whoa. What the fuck is you online looking at? <laughs> <laughs> hey, shit. Come on now. Where we going? I don't even know. It might have been room 112, but hey, shit. Shout out to 112, man. Shout out to 112, man. Yo, you know what they need to bring back, my niggas? They need to bring back assassinations. I'm rolling, let me hear. What, what's what's up? Bring that back. There's a lot of niggas I feel like need to just be, you know, in the car <laughs> and randomly get hit. I was thinking about that the other day too. Like, <laughs> need to bring that back, my nigga. I'm sorry. We we because we was talking about Osama. You know what I mean? Getting when how they done him off live. We ain't had one of them in a while. Like. Where it was like a, a worldly bad guy, bad guy in the world that we just collectively all agree, yeah, that nigga gotta go. Yeah. We we ain't had one of them in a while. We ain't had one That's... of them niggas, my nigga. The niggas, these niggas is pussy outside nowadays, my nigga. I don't like this shit. Yeah, niggas be kind of soft nowadays, man. Where Word. the villains at? Where the villains? Yeah, where the villains at? Where them niggas with the... What is it, a low stock on snipers out there in these streets? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> niggas really had... A, a a team a two two man crew of snipers that was just killing niggas. That was crazy. That was crazy. We we in dire need of that back. The streets need that. The streets Street, need a body. The streets need a body. Right. That was a wild time. I ain't gonna lie. That you that's putting fear in America for real, nigga. Snipers. You walking outside and get picked. Like you can't. Tch. And these niggas was shooting random people. They didn't even Words. have like an agenda. Like nothing. They was just outside hitting shit. Niggas, them niggas, them niggas was, was going for the for the uh for the, the kill streak, nigga. The, they the were kill streak. they was get, they was trying to get a nuke, nigga. They was trying to get a UAV and a UAV. all that. <laughs> they had everything, bro. That's uh, wild, bro. It's uh, fucked up. We laughing at the nigga. We not laughing at the dude that passed away. We laughing at the just night. the pure, just the sh- pure like absurdity of that yeah, shit. Yeah, like, yeah, real shit. And then to find shit. out they were some niggas? Everybody thought they was some, some white boys doing that, that shit. some niggas doing that shit, yeah. It was some niggas. They, was def- they was definitely trying to get some UAV. They were definitely trying niggas to get Niggas was laying in the trunk. Bro, that's... A, my God. Shout out to Chicago PD, the show, nigga. I ain't gonna lie. You put me on. I'm on season seven, nigga. I, I, I watch that shit religiously. But shout out to them for making... Obviously, it's a cop show. Peak, peak, peak pigs. Peak pigs for sure. Some of some of my favorite pigs. I ain't gonna lie. But they they play on shit that happened in the real world. You know what I mean? They got a little COVID season or a COVID episode, really, where you know real shit that happened in real life. They play on that for the show. It's so wild. Shout out to Dick Wolf. Pause. That's a wild ass. You know what I mean? That's Whoa. my nigga. Name is Dick Wolf. Shout out to him though. He makes some of the greatest drama television but it all the writing is the same like every episode is a fucking either a villain or some horrible shit happening in the beginning and they solve the case by the end of the episode fuck it and it's like it's it's brilliant the way they do the shit it's, it's like, like pokemon it's, it's like pokemon you know catch the outcome that catch that nigga yeah it works. <laughs> you it know works. the outcome each time but it's still amazing it's every so fucking time yeah facts like I, I would, I would like. I'm not gonna lie, bro. If we lived in like a fucked up world, I would love to be a detective. We do live in a fucked up world per se, but like you know, like on TV, you see like there's a whole bunch of drug dealers, and mass. I would love it to be a, det- a detective in that, like, like detecting shit. Yeah, like I, w- I would be a detective. I would be like I a hard. Lie, I like, I like um in Miami. In Miami. In Miami. Hmm. Yeah, I, w- I, I, would. I like, I like investigating. I was about to say. Yeah, investigating. That, yeah, that shit just even if it's something like you know, what I mean, you might have suspected your shorty back in the day of doing some foul shit. You had to investigate. Like, let me see if I could catch this bitch in a lie. Yeah, it's. I feel like it's like the perfect thing for me to get off my sarcasm. <laughs> 
Word, you know, depending you know, on you yeah, right. and be an undercover cop. Yo, what's good, my niggas? Where's the crack at? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> bro, 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 Got it. You gotta have your hat backwards. All them, all all the DTs in NY for some reason they think that's undercover. The hats backwards. Drop the brick, Ronaldo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember I seen I seen a a, a DT a D Tech. Who who used to call them D Techs? Was it this nigga? Um, what show was that? D Tech. I forget. D Techs is kind of crazy. But um, I seen a nigga with a jersey on one time. Like standing in a train station, just by himself with a jersey, white boy, hat backward, jersey on. I think he had like a Jan Sport backpack on. I'm like, bro, you're obviously a cop. You're not even trying at this point. Yeah, word. Shout out to all the D techs out there, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas, I guess y'all do a good job out here. I don't Drop know. Drop the AK 47 and the hair on, Jamal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to be spurting that out throughout the podcast episode. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, that's funny, man. <laughs> Welcome back to the show, everybody. This is crack in the eighties. This is crack in the motherfucking eighties. Season three. You know what I'm saying? Let's say season you know four has been renewed already. We got yeah. that coming for y'all. Yes, yeah. it, season four is gonna be like the wire. We're gonna have we're gonna have a bunch of people up there, a bunch of young young motherfuckers talking their shit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm lying. Not really, but we're not word. really, but we're. Right. Right. Not facts. We may we 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 promising to get that ass shaking though. You know what I'm saying? That's um, definitely definitely that's on that, the list. D- drop that ass, uh, Shaquaja. <laughs> drop that ass, Rebecca. <laughs> 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 yeah, we was talking pre pod. You know what I mean? Cause we be talking and um, let's talk about asses. It's nothing like. So what what what's and this is for the, the listeners as well. It doesn't gotta be you know what I mean you ain't gotta be male to uh, indulge in this conversation. Women like ass too. Mm-hmm. There's lesbians you know I mean? out there. Yeah, and, and straight women like ass and too. Straight like, women like ass. Straight, straight women there. probably like straight women are probably more gay than lesbians. Yeah, keeping it a buck. Yeah. But uh, what's your favorite type of ass? A natural fat ass, not in terms of like natural, like not BBL. BBL. Really? Maybe I mean like natural, like that they should just is fat on his own. Or a gym fat ass. You know them them gym them gym asses. They work they they the work ass, for that the ass. The asses that smell like protein shake. Mm-hmm. They work for that shit. What's 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 your favorite type of ass? Oh, for the natural. listeners as well. Natural. Yeah, it's just something about a natural ass. That something shit just about a natural ass that just gets you going. The yeah. shit like you you see it out of the, the 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 reveal the revelation of the shit the shit just fall up it's like it fall apart like yeah yeah you know what I'm saying like you could tell what was carrying it before was holding it together mm-hmm. I mean it was holding it up yeah that shit just fall off the bone I don't like, like fake asses good ox- <laughs> <laughs> that should definitely fall off the bone like some good oxtail I don't, I don't like I don't like fat, uh, fake asses I don't like them you know, yes they look great they look great. Uh, they look image great. Wise, like, yeah, look image, at, like, and, yeah, they look good in pants. Yeah. I've never had any experience like with a fake ass. I don't. I don't think so. I don't think I've had I don't, unless I, don't, I was fooled. Yeah, unless I. But they, yeah, yeah, I was no, I say, right? yeah, right, right. I, <laughs> <even been> <laughs> I might have got fooled out here. Don't yeah, get. Yeah, I'm not saying really I know. ain't been fooled before, but I, I, shit. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I, I got. Oh, yeah. I don't think yeah, when I you think about it, a fake that. ass is crazy. That's like, <laughs> and pause before I even get there. That's like me walking around with a fake dick. Like, just, <laughs> <laughs> just what's the point? Like, <laughs> it's I mean, it's crazy. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's niggas like that. Yeah, they got niggas. fake dicks. Niggas out there with fake cocks. Bro, there's surgery for everything, so I'm, I'm pretty sure. That's crazy. I was gonna say shorty name, but in drugs, you know who I'm talking about. The homie back in the day, she super, and I ain't going to um, say too much so nobody could identify her, but cool, cool shorty. She was a dyke. She used to walk around with her strap on, on, nigga, 
all the time, like during the day. Like she don't, even, she don't know when illness. anything could pop off. That is a mental illness. <laughs> hey, she used to get it popping. Like, like, like you don't I'm, know I'm when shit gonna pop know, off. Because I'd have definitely made it happen. Put your dick away, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Not like. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't that know nigga hard. <laughs> 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 nigga, I remember we was, we was playing ball one day, hooping. We on the court. Posting up, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm in the paint. I'm like, yo, what's that, shorty? <laughs> she had it on playing ball? <laughs> Nigga, I told you she had the shit on, like, at any... Because, you know, the LGBTQ community, shout out to y'all. Y'all get a little wild. Y'all could, any, she could pop off at any moment with them. You know what I mean? You might meet somebody on the street, give them that look, and it's on. What the she, fuck? She was prepared, bro. That's nah, I call I that preparation. Lie. That's an exciting life. I'm telling you, bro, they be prepared. Like, like my I dick heard just story. gotta stay hard because I never <laughs> know when I'm just about to get yeah, dive yeah, in she, some she, she, she wouldn't like me because I'll be making it. Put your dick away, my nigga. Come on, man. Kids is around, man. <laughs> Got your dick out, my nigga. Um, uh, I'm telling you, it's a wild life, bro. It's a wild fucking life. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if they had they dick pull, pull, out. Yeah, I, I would do wild shit like if we if we somewhere with some bitches. Hey, look at my man's dick. <laughs> just grab it. <laughs> Just grab that shit, pause. <laughs> Yo, grabbing a dyke chick uh, dildo in her pants is crazy. Bro. Get the fuck out of here. Grab it. Look, pull it out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Look, nigga. You ain't got no balls down, nigga. Nah, nah. What if you what if you trying to get out of shorty and y'all competing now? You know what I mean? Like, you're going to be like, man, that shit fake. Just grab the shit. Look, this shit fake. Just grab the shit out of her pants. Nah, first first come off. for real. I'm not grabbing <laughs> nobody's piece. So we're going to pause this whole segment. <laughs> yeah, get back to what y'all was talking about. <laughs> we're just going to pause Nigga that. say, yo, look, the shit fake, ma. Look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, son. Shout oh, out to the LGBTQ. Man. Hey, look. Look at how it come around, though. This is June 1st. We As we recording this pod, it's the first day. Of that month, this day month. Oh, okay. Look how oh. it come around. See, we had a point bringing this shit up. Yeah, it was. Yeah, we uh, professionals, man. We don't just be doing this shit for fun. Oh man, that's funny. Yeah, that this is, is funny. fake, nigga. Fuck out of here. <laughs> grab it, look. <laughs> grab like, it, and <laughs> not even just grabbing it, grabbing it and pulling it out the pants is the yeah, funny bro, part. Yeah. Too. <laughs> <laughs> like, bitch, you fool! You got you thought this shit was real. Look. <laughs> Nah, I ain't gonna lie. Posting up on a dyke chicken, you you trying to score a basket and you feel that shit on your own. <laughs> that shit like, yo, ma. <laughs> yo, <laughs> what's up? Yo, you ain't even think to take this shit off while we was hooping? Take me out for dinner first, nigga. Damn. <laughs> what the fuck? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Niggas is silly, bro. Oh, uh, yeah. It's we silly, are. man. Welcome back yeah. to the show, everybody. Thank if y'all If y'all still listening or if you're just tuning in, we silly, man. Be oh, silly. Shit. That was a good laugh. I needed that. That was funny, man. Shit, I bet. I bet you did, nigga. You just came from a troop. You had to go. What you say? You went to go pick up some chocolate milk. <laughs> no. Okay. I went to get some breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't wait. You couldn't wait. Y'all. You couldn't wait. You couldn't wait. <laughs> nigga, drugs caught that shit midway too. <laughs> nigga started laughing already. Right, well, tell us about the chocolate milk, bro. This nigga Mars made us wait to pod because he had to get chocolate milk. I, what happened, no, what happened I didn't now? go get chocolate milk. All right, Yo, Dad, son. I didn't go get no fucking chocolate milk. All right, <laughs> but I you drink chocolate milk, milk though, right? I think with the, I I drink it like once every like three months. Okay, and you I, you you just came from the store and picked I some up. I went to Cracker Barrel. To get some breakfast, because Cracker Barrel has real good and cheap breakfast. You get three pancakes, some bacon, scrambled eggs, two biscuits, ten dollars. Can't beat that. You can't yeah, beat that's... that. With a, you can't beat that with a bat. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? So then after I went to the gas station, I don't know if you niggas is aware, but some gas stations, Sunoco preferably, has a a sexual relationship with Subway. Oh so yeah, they be having them inside. Yeah, yeah. It's the, you know what I'm saying? The little, the little hobos, the, the homeless subway. I call them homeless subways because they ain't got nowhere to go, so they pack up with a gas station. <laughs> um, I went and got some cookies. They two for three dollars, so I got. Or is it three for two dollars? So I got six cookies for for four dollars. Mm. And so I went it was and got a, a saving. Yeah, it was a saving, and I got some chocolate milk because I like to have my breakfast sometimes with chocolate. Sometimes I drink orange juice, 
But I I was well, I think I was I don't know if I I was even high because I wasn't smoking when I started eating Cracker Barrel. But I was like, let me just a chocolate milk sounds really good right now. So what I did was I boiled the chocolate milk. I had it with my pancakes, my bacon and eggs, and that shit bust. <laughs> that shit bust out the wrapper. <laughs> Mind you, look how I come around, though. When I was doing that, that's when I started watching Chicago PD. Mm. When, I was te- when I was texting you about Chicago PD, nigga, I was, I was off that chocolate milk, nigga. Nigga had a glass of chocolate milk right there. Right there, glass. And it, I, I, put, I, I usually put it in the freezer. Let it get Ooh. real cold. Yeah. Ain't nothing like it. I don't know if it's better than, than cold, than, than fr- frozen, than slushy Sprite. Because slushy Sprite is Ooh, unbeatable. Oh, slushy Sprite is insane. You know what I'm saying? But I don't think I had cho- I ain't had chocolate milk since like junior high. I ain't gonna lie, my nigga. Maybe maybe high school. A little, you know what I mean? A little purple box. Yeah, nah, I wasn't. No, doing no, it was this. brown. It was brown. It was the brown box. In my school, we had the we had the snapple the snapple vending machine. So I was snapping it up. Oh yeah, nah, nah, niggas was snapping it up. I remember <clears throat> in high school, it was a nigga, <laughs> a nigga used to steal nigga snapples. Like he would wait. Like this this is talking about investigation. This nigga used to legit. Hangouts, cause the you know they got they had they had my high school had two lunch rooms. You had one for like I think it was two grades, and then another one for another two grades. They had they separated them that that way. It was I don't know shit was weird, but it was a nigga that legit used to sit at the front table by himself. That's weird. That's weird on its own. Nigga just at the front table by himself. Nigga used to wait till people walked out into the hall <laughs> to go to the snapple machine. Followed him out there, and this is the thing: niggas knew he did this, but he 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 just somehow got away with the shit each time. You go to the machine, you get a snapple, nigga will pull up on you or some like, like, come on, nigga, pass it over. They can't drink. He must he must can't drink juice in his house. <laughs> and now you think about it. I, now that I'm old and I thought about it, I'm like, yo, damn, maybe this nigga was just mad poor, as it, like his family was fucked up. <laughs> he probably, well, oh, like you said, maybe he couldn't drink juice at the crib. Maybe. <laughs> Yeah, he couldn't drink juice at the crib. The he was yeah. mentally ill, literally. Yeah, he couldn't have juice at the crib. Yeah, so like juice was the longest time. Yeah, he had them niggas had like you know, like the Kool Aid that you the Kool Aid containers that you have the Kool Aid in. He had that, but it was just full of water. That's fucked up. They was tricking this nigga like yeah. They, <laughs> damn. Yeah, nah, I ain't gonna lie. See, it's a lot of shit like that where you look back at shit that happened in school, and you're like, damn, I hope old boy doing okay right now. Like. It's a lot of shit in my high school. It's, we got a convicted pedophile from my school, like legit, like multiple time pedophile. What? Yeah, nigga, like this nigga used to rap too. Like he was, he was one of them niggas that you know what I mean. You knew he was off, but us coming up at this time, you know what I mean. You, you, you didn't fuck with them niggas in terms of like picking on them, but you fuck with them to just have like a good time. Like he was in on a joke too, type shit. This nigga used to rap, bro. He used to write raps. And even back then, his raps were kind of... He was a white boy. His raps were kind of out there. But as a kid, you don't really think about that. Nigga had a lot of like... He used to say, I'm a sadist. All types of shit. I didn't even know what sadist meant back then. I had to Google the shit. Like, wild shit. Come to find out, years later, after high school, graduation, college time, like, nigga is fucking around with them kids, man. Multiple times. Damn. Nigga, Nigga's on that list, man. Nigga, his, they parents need to group up and burn that nigga in the boiler so he could turn into Freddy. <laughs> Niggas was talking about the Freddy Krueger origin story. Apparently, he was a pedophile, and they they found out. I think so. I think he was touching them kids, and they they went to his house and burnt this shit down. And he started haunting the kids. You won't. I can't get you in real life. I get you in your dreams. <laughs> Since I dream about y'all. <laughs> See, that's what we need it to bring sense. back. Like, remember we was talking about mobs and shit showing up to niggas' cribs? Yeah, nigga, if a nigga is doing some wild, get take him out, man. Yeah, take him out the crib. Beat allegedly. I ain't promoting violence or none of that shit, nah, YouTube. We this are. is just alleged. Uh, yeah, let's, let's promote violence. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck that. They do some fucked up shit. Beat his ass. Like, beat his like, ass. Word. Yeah, fuck that. Because they going to fuck him in jail. <laughs> they ain't going to beat his ass in jail. They going to fuck him. Beat that nigga ass, man. So he might as well get his ass open now. Leave his ass. Leave his ass. Don't don't be. Don't don't touch his ass because they gonna do that in jail. Just punch him in the face. Like I said, they got that part taken care of. Just take care of the other. Just take care of the violence first. The sexual assault will happen in prison. (laughs) Did y'all ever see the video? They was jumping somebody, and the person pulled the nigga pants down and stuck their finger in his ass. You ever seen that video? (laughs) 
Nah, that's just, it sounds familiar. And even saying it sounds familiar sounds crazy. It's like, nigga, what the fuck do you watch? <laughs> but, <laughs> that nigga, that nigga really pulled his pants down, stuck his finger in his ass. I was like, nah, that nigga won. Nah, bro, that's he he probably been waiting. He probably planned that. That that's just not a spur of the moment thing. Yeah, it's definitely not a spur. Of the moment. He he couldn't he, wait to do that. He he planned that out. <laughs> Imagine you getting jumped, the nigga. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck is going on? Uh, nah, bro. <laughs> Damn, that nigga's I... gay, my niggas <laughs> me. <laughs> nah, facts, bro. That's yeah, insane. That R word around, niggas <laughs> me, my nigga. Hard R, damn. Hard R. <sighs> oh, man, I was gonna go to the intros, but how we how do we transition into the intros from that? Uh, good morning, USA. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's Fox 2, it's Mars, it's drugs. We're back. We all here. We're back. We here. Yeah, I don't We're get the here. intro music this week. Maybe yeah. maybe later on in the pod you might get it. Uh, hey, yo. Y'all niggas, I, I read some real quick. I read, I read an article um, recently um, that Snoop's wife <laughs> opened up a club. And, a strip club. Uh, yeah, in LA called The Place Club. Nice for real. Oh yeah. damn! I, and then and then on black, you know, black Twitter makes you want to be racist. <laughs> black Twitter makes me want to be so racist. Like I'm, I've I've been using ERs a lot lately because of mm. black Twitter. Whoa. And they were sitting there saying, "Oh, they could have did it. They could have built a school. They could have built this. They could have built that." Oh, uh, one of them things. Fucking, you wasn't sending your fucking kids to the school. So shut the fuck up. Well, here's the thing about. Uh, quote unquote black Twitter. There's white Twitter. There's Mexican Twitter. There's Republican Twitter. I found There's out Republican about that Twitter. recently. Uh, Mexican Twitter is more along the lines of just Dragon Ball Z D- shit. That was racist. I'm going to take that back. You, you see? You see? <laughs> there's there's nope. every part of the world on, on social media, my boy. Once you cross over into that shit, you're going to realize there's hatred for, for any. Because it's, it's ignorance and all that shit. It's not yeah. like you reading through pure intelligence, niggas speaking positivity all day. You got goofballs. You got niggas that didn't receive attention as a baby. So they they getting, they're trying to get any attention they can Mama. from anybody. Fuck up my face. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you know. Just slap a baby. <laughs> Fuck down. I, I was just telling two that before this. Fuck up my face, little nigga. Right. I was Take just this telling two before this, uh, you know, that social media shit, man. Like, you know, it's a, it's a, it, you know, it's a lot of troll artists. It's a lot of people who sit on that shit and think that they're professional trollers, right? right? Because they probably successfully trolled someone. So they probably feel like they can get that shit they, off. They, they, they the ratioed old somebody profile. before. They ratioed a big account before. So right, got, right. For, if a right. comment got more likes than your post, then he he's automatically right. Right. And don't let it be a super celeb about a specific thing, because now that whole page that, that got all them likes on that comment is geared specifically towards that. So let's yep. say um, a new Zack Zach Snyder movie comes out, right? And the nigga Speaking comments some goofball shit. To sound crazy. Oh, yeah, for sure. And the nigga comments some goofball shit. You look the nigga names is Aaron six thousand two hundred and seventy. Like you know, what I'm saying like the nigga name is a whole zip code following a phone number. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. Then you go to right. his his tweets. The nigga probably got like fifteen tweets. He got no followers. He following like let's say what seventy bunch, people a bunch, to a bunch of soccer, to, uh, a bunch of soccer players. Right, yeah. His header I was gonna say that his header is a soccer player, right? And those what fifteen tweets is specifically about Zack Snyder and how much of a bum he is and Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. So. A loser otherwise. Right. <laughs> this is, we're talking about losers here. Two 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 things about Zach. It comes out that the, the writer of the X Men ninety seven show was inspired by Man of Steel for the first season. Clap it up. Hey, hey, audience, clap it all up for us, man. Clap it up for that right there. Second, 
Warner Brothers, there's a 300 TV series in development, and guess who's set to direct? No. Who's that? Zach. Oh, my God. Audience, oh can we get another round of applause? God. Another... A TV series 300 is insane. I could just imagine what that shit going to be. I mean, he's going to cook. He's going to cook. He's cooking. He's going to cook. And it's going to be to the point where... I know what's going to happen. I know what's going to happen. That Superman movie's going to flop. I need niggas to know that right now. It's going to flop hard. It's, it's not even about what anybody else is doing anymore. Yeah, it's not. It's going to flop hard. I think as far, as far as them comic films, in my opinion, it's right now, yes, it's, um, it's over. Yeah, it's not really looking too good. I mean, it's I thought over. so from, from Jump. Like, you know what I'm saying? When Zach I, I, started, you know what I'm saying, doing his own shit. You know, I, and I, 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 I seen some tweets recently about Zach shit. You know what I'm saying? And it was kind of trying to troll the success of... um. You know his his recent project that he dropped the sequel, Rebel Moon Two, yeah, right. And um, you know, I I just thought it was funny, you know, because it's literally troll artists, right? Because they basically trying to say the uh, the reason why basically there's there's not going to be another sequel to Rebel Moon, and that's the reason why, like. It, it flopped like you know what i'm saying like so so there's no sequel and he's not doing any more comic films like so they said that about, know, they said about the first of rubber moon right right exactly but i, I I'm, I'm just as conf- like i said it's all trolling like it's all to push some type of narrative about niggas because if you really pay attention or know anything look what you just announced exactly you know what and, I'm saying? And a, lot of people, like, a lot of people, and this is why the show Velma got re- renewed for season two and it's season three, because people hate watch. If if I don't like something, I'm not going to watch it. I'm not watch watching it. it. I'm not watching it. I'm not going to go to the theaters to go see James Gunn's Superman movie. I'm not. I don't want to see it. Hey, I'm, not gonna go, hey, I'm not going to go watch it and then talk about it on Twitter. What's the point in that? That makes no sense. That's obsessive. That's a I think illness. I think drugs said it best though. These niggas, first of all, niggas make a career and a personality out of that shit. Like some of the nigga, niggas, not mm-hmm. to cut you off uh, too, but Mars, we 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 spoke about it in some of the episodes uh, prior to this uh, about all this Zach and you know um, James Gunn and all this other bullshit. You know what I'm saying? And niggas making accounts that work for these corporations. Yeah, under some it's of actually, these it's guys, actually a viral, it's actually a viral video going right now about this chick that used to work for bot, for a bot farming company, and it's a, it was a big. She couldn't say who she was working for, but these companies bot farm. They do. Yep. To push a narrative online. That's what it is. Twitter. Because it's, it's easy. It's, it's easy, and it's only on Twitter. You can't do that shit on Instagram. You can't do that shit on motherfucking Facebook. Twitter is the only place. And to be real with you, the streets don't. Everybody don't fuck with Twitter. Well, you can you can bot for more Instagram. You can, but it's hard to get that point across. Like you have to that's be. That's why. Able- that's why. That's why they allow celebrities to to filter their comments now. Yeah, exactly. And and because and you, you can have bot to. Farm. The only way you can, I want to say, say bot farm, but you can push a narrative. <laughs> you can bot comments, on, bro. You could. You that's, can buy, that's, you can bot that's how. It, that's how you do it. Because you yeah, gotta but, think about it. The average nigga that scrolls on social media off rip, when you see a post that's interesting in the slightest to you, what you do? You open that comment, right? Regardless mm-hmm. if you a nigga that serve comments, you open the comment section and you probably look at I'ma say the first maybe ten to fifteen comments. Or you do a little a scroll down glimpse. and see what people saying. Yeah. You see that first and that first probably I'm gonna I'm say the first ten to fifteen, depending on what it is. More than likely, you seeing some bullshit. Yeah, depending on that post. Word. <laughs> yeah. You know, so making a personality out of trolling is wild. Like it's, it's like if we if we want to be like adults it's, and it's, be, it's, it's 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 sad at the end of the day. It's sad, like we but said, think about it too. It's all business, right? 
think about it, right? We've been we we gonna get to these topics too, right? Um, Trump, bro, thirty four counts, bro, right? He got up on a podium after he walked out of a court, and what he spoke on. The first thing he said was, "Hey, this is Biden administration trying to fuck with me, trying to push a narrative." Mm-hmm. You call them niggas sleazeball judges. Over. Yeah, we ain't been. You know what I'm saying? We ain't bending over. We gonna stand on on our shit because we innocent. And, and you know what I'm saying? Like all of it is politics, is business, and that's where it all starts from. It starts from politics. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Politics as usual. Yep. You know what I'm saying? All of this starts from politics. They follow all the tactics that these politicians been doing. They've been doing these things, bro. They've been doing dirt and finding a way to cover it up because they got the money and the connections. They've been, you know, fool speaking on things that they probably have the slightest idea on or none. But that does not matter because it's all about perspective. If I sit in front of you and I talk a certain way with emphasis, you know what I'm saying? My swag is on point. It look like I'm dead ass about what I'm talking about. That's all you need, nigga. Yeah, especially there's a currency behind that now. <clears throat> it's YouTube, niggas. It's the algorithm. It's it, like I said. It's it's sad. It's sick because people figured out how to manipulate. It, it's all manipulation, politics, all that shit. It's how to get your narrative across in the best way. Like I think Charlemagne was talking about this on. He was actually on Andrew Pod, not 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 their brilliant idiots pod, but he was on Flagrant. And you know, Charlemagne, I, f- I fuck with Charlemagne heavy. I don't know, like, there's a lot of people out there that got a, like a narrative and be going back to narratives about him. It's whatever, but you know, what I mean, he got his new book out, so he was promoting his book, and he was saying basically how he knows, and it was is a, is a proven now that both the Democratic Party and Republican Party uses things that he say. To like push their narrative, basically, and he says it's basically like they know how to work the algorithm to where he can say like, "Yo, Trump sucks, Trump stinks," but he wears good shoes. The Republicans will take the "wears good shoes" part and push that and ignore the first two things. Yes, bro. and the Democrats will do the opposite. They'll be like, "Yeah, see, Charlemagne said Trump stinks." Charlemagne, and it's like, "Yo, bro, like you see." You see, what? the cheesy way to do that, right? The cheesy way to do that. Y'all remember the movie Head of State with Chris Rock when he was yeah, running for president? You remember, you remember Bernie when, Mac slapping the shit out of niggas? Yep. You remember when he, when they had... All right. So when they, was run, they, can, they was campaigning against each other, right? And they was basically attacking Chris mm-hmm. Rock's campaign. Like his mm-hmm. character's image, you know, all that shit. Like that was, that's the cheesy way. That's how they used to do it. Now it's all disguised in other things. Like, you know, we don't have, I, I don't really have evidence or proof on that, but one example, i.e., what Trump just spoke on. You know what I'm saying? In his situation. You know what I mean? It's got it's disguised because I don't have to I don't have to come out and put a commercial about you specifically saying some shit, yo. This nigga said, "Go get some hot sauce." Do you want this <laughs> nigga representing your people? He don't give a fuck about you. Vote for me. I give a fuck about you. Like you know, what I'm saying, like nobody. What the fuck? No, that's this, not going to sway the people was today. About cracking the eighties. Right, right. Like you know, what I mean, that's not that's not a that's not going to sway the people. So you know. As time goes on, you know, the same as technology, you know, the same as intelligence, you know, everything progresses, um, you know, and we find other ways to uh, influence, persuade, you know what I mean? And play on on, on the intelligence of, 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 of us, of the, the people. And, uh, you know, because... And, and I don't want to get too deep into the politics, even though we are going to tap dance um, 
on it on this topic. Um, what yeah, that's where we to get say, the crack from, man. Government, they give us the fact. crack to give the y'all uh, every week. You know what I'm saying? Y'all think we do this shit on our own? They supplying us, man. It's the government. That's how y'all get this crack. Hey, man, that, that, and that's what it all falls down to, bro. Like, these guys are, a lot of these people are in serious positions of power, bro. Like, these niggas have the power to make you disappear or some Thanos shit. Like, niggas be playing with this shit. Like, pause. Like, the, it's a game. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, it's not a game, bro. It, Power is a motherfucker. Yeah, man, we watching one of the guys we came up like not to bring that up, but you know, we watching one of the guys who, you know, uh, I wouldn't necessarily say the nigga was he's Trump, but w- look at the power. Shit. Look at the power the nigga had. The nigga was telling us to go vote. The mm. nigga was, you know, what I'm saying he was campaigning yeah. like he was. With a, with a mohawk on. With a mohawk. Yeah, he was running around pushing, you know, the black vote and, you know, all of these things. So, man, like. It's it's wild. It's, it's, it's crazy just because when you, re- like, in hindsight, hindsight is always twenty twenty. You can see very clearly as you, as the shit gets toward the end. A lot of shit that came out now about dude. That we kind of overlooked in the past, or maybe just weren't really hip to, is like we had instances in very like a lot with this nigga specifically. We had mad moments, and we're talking about this nigga Diddy. I ain't, I ain't afraid to say the nigga name. It's like we had mad moments in time to pick up on this type of shit going on. Like, sh- shout out to Kanye. Kanye said it on Drink Champs that nigga was a fed, and if you think. We have no proof of this. This is alleged. We don't know because we we haven't gotten that far in the story yet. But just imagine if he was working for the feds and this is why he was able to get away with so much shit that he has. I mean, power. You know what I mean? A part of a part of why these politicians are able to maneuver and get away with a lot of these things is because why? It's not it's not solely because of money. True. True. Niggas is federal. Niggas is federal, bro. Niggas be Shit, government. We, hit, we hitting niggas level five, be... man. We hitting level five. Lot, <laughs> well, lot... well, we gotta descend. We gotta descend a little bit. Yeah, niggas... a, a lot of a lot of these a lot of these industry people that you know you think a lot of these motherfuckers be feds, bro. They work for the government, man. When you when you get as when you're in Hollywood, you know who's cutting your check? The government, nigga. The feds, nigga. It's not the actors. It... Yeah, right, right. All these niggas are federal it's not, And it's not even just Hollywood either. Like, we don't want to... It's not. It's not. You'd be surprised. Specific, I was in a... Um, yeah, right, right. I was in a... When I was in when I was knee-deep in comic book Twitter, I came across two brothers who were very... Who hated Zack Snyder. They didn't say they hate the guy, but... Brothers like black people or two brothers like two siblings? Two brothers, like two real-life brothers. I got... Oh, my siblings. man put me on that they were brothers. There's two... Uh, accounts on Twitter who they they uh their pages are one is Chief Martinez they're they're they're, they're playing the role of the two cops from the Batman movie starring Robert Pattinson mm-hmm. so one cop one page has the 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 uh, one cop and the other other page has a, a picture of another cop and I found out through one of their close friends because they were harassing me like they found out where I lived at all types of shit it was crazy. Right, and um, I found out that they work directly for Warner Brothers. There you go. Mm. And they are they're getting paid to push a narrative on Twitter. They get yeah. paid besides the Twitter payments. They get paid by Warner Brothers directly to push a narrative. Stop playing with them people, bro. That's why I don't be replying to all. Of my, so bro, it's, it's gotta... scary. Out you, you be surprised. You, 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 you may have a neighbor, and that nigga may be a fucking federal agent. It's scary yeah. out here in this world, man. Yeah, bro. I'm like, how the fuck they got my fucking like? I got threats from different pages, like Javon Robinson. I'm like, what the fuck? Nigga say, yo, I just rat, nigga. And niggas gotta understand, like, yeah, even I told with them two, suck my cock, I'm already your family. <laughs> look, look what two nigga was saying. Down on it. Two was saying <laughs> earlier about the DTs and the how D-Tex, they be wearing the, the, you know, the, the, the. The, the jerseys. The jerseys I seen this nigga with a Kevin fits, Durant jersey on, right? bro. Those is DTs. 
bro, if any anybody who knows or so or uh, uh, related, you know, familiar with anybody who's ever worked for the government, bro, the niggas could come outside dressed like you, bro. Yep, they dress like you, talk not they talk like you, but they dress like you. And that's 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 more than enough, honestly. Yeah. They dress like John Cena. <laughs> Legit. All them niggas dress like John Cena. Yeah. The jersey, the hat to the back, the sneakers, the jean shorts. Hey, man. That's it. Your time is up, their time is now, nigga. <laughs> 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 Dun, 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 dun. But speaking yeah, that's of, a good. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Because I was gonna say some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I was just gonna say. But speaking on the, uh, you know, the Donald Trump thirty four counts, right? Quick, what we got? Man, free Donnie, man. He ain't going to jail, nigga. Nigga's a federal <laughs> agent too, nigga. Free Donnie, man. Yeah, no, nah, ain't nigga. Ain't nothing happening, bro. Hey, man, Diddy ain't going to jail. I don't think niggas understand that Diddy ain't going to jail. Nah. Diddy would have been in jail already if he was going to well, jail. I'm not gonna compare Diddy to Trump, right? Here's why. Specifically because the positions that they're in, right? You got one who's literally in a position to possibly be the president again. That's that's a huge difference. Like, that's a huge difference. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, you got one of them niggas that's probably working for them niggas. You know what I'm saying? So he probably was protected. And you got one of them niggas who directly connected to them niggas. You know, he probably know them niggas like a, a phone call away. Like, he's in that position to, to call them shots. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, and let's not forget one's white, one's black. Uh, still nigga. Yep. Uh, one of them. I I just feel like I don't, and I don't want to compare because like that that just sounds crazy. But, bruh, I I think the percentage may be higher for the black guy to go to do prison time of some sort as opposed to the old white guy that's possibly you know in position to be president again. Yeah, just just my opinion though. Like you know what I'm saying. I, I'm not, you know, I I don't know the facts on all of this shit. Like you know what I'm saying. I don't really tap. Do you think? Do you think Trump still still could win? I, in my opinion, I think they scared. I think somebody's scared. Um, I think. Um. I think the leading candidates. Right, are these two guys right? I guess that's that's fact to say, right? It, it, yeah, these for two sure. guys. Um, if I'm a if I'm gonna say popular opinion, um, I still think people somewhat have some type of hate for Trump, like or it's dislike, a taste, somewhat distaste, hell yeah, however you want to describe it, but. I think niggas voted for the other side and seen and experienced that. So, um, if I'm going to be honest, bro, I think it's all, it's just ignorance versus ignorance. Like, if you even, like, let's, 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 let's point to the person that's maybe hip to all of it, right? When I say hip to all of it, I mean, like, understands that all of this shit is bullshit from jump, right? But they still go out and vote. They still make that decision, right? Okay, so... It's... You you gotta think about it like this, bro. Like... What... You literally making a decision on... What you probably hate less. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not necessarily going off of 
Because that goes back on your judgment for the last election. The last election was these two guys. This shit, I mean, man, with elections, this shit is... And I, 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 I hate to be like the nigga that's like, man, none of this shit matter. Who cares? Is because at the end of the day, both sides, from what we've seen up to this point, neither one of them, them niggas are telling the truth or running on anything that you can stand on. The Democrats, and we could we could transition from this. Oh, yeah, the Democrats sure. are running on, we're not Trump. Don't vote for him. Trump is actually not running on anything either. He's just, you know what I mean? He's basically like a, 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 a fucking celeb that people love him, so he's going to get votes, and he's not the nigga funny, so that people are going to vote just because he's funny. Is it, it, It's like you, there's really no way, there's no positive outcome with this shit, basically. Like, yeah. this whole system of how we pick one person to quote-unquote run the country aka like running the world it's silly as hell like it it still don't make sense that this is the way we get we have to choose between this type shit like it's, it's all fucking dumb would you rather a president or a king <laughs> i'd rather none of that shit i'd rather like a board like everything every company has a board where niggas could get voted out perfect example is the transition board. i was watching the um I think it's on Netflix. It's called oh no no it might be HBO Max. It's called y'all remember Movie Pass, the company where literally you could oh, get yeah. this debit card or move. It was called Movie Pass. You signed up for it and you pay like ten dollars a month and right. you could literally watch like every. You could go to the theater and watch as many movies as you wanted to for the month, like legit. I was watching that and to connect it to the um. The board thing, people, I, I, it should be a board instead of like a king, a president, a fucking prime minister. Shout out to shout out to my nigga Shine. Look how I come around. He's a prime minister of Belize. Um, that's 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 also wild. That nigga went from going to jail because of this that nigga, nigga Diddy. That nigga went from oh. <laughs> <laughs> then tell me who won the fuck with us? But movie pass. It was started by these two black dudes. It got popular, and then these two white dudes came in, you know what I mean, as the as the company grew, and because they had a board, which was mostly white people, they were able to kick out the niggas who started the fucking company. Now, I, I say a board, but even... The fuck? This nigga... My bad. I'm looking... I just heard a wild ass sound outside. Just nigga, nigga... I don't know. Hopefully, nigga crib ain't on fire again. But they were able to kick out the niggas who started the company. Now, that's the negative side of it. But at least if there's multiple people running some shit, you get to vote. Now, of course, corruption and everything can be involved in that shit. But at least I think that is a easier. Well, maybe it's the same shit. Now that I'm thinking through it, I'm like, it's probably the same shit. There's corruption everywhere. When humans are involved. There can be corruption anywhere, bro. Like, because mm-hmm. if it's one person running the country, it's not really that one person. That's how they get corrupt. And if it was a board, niggas could influence the other people to do some shit. Just how you know what I mean? Niggas could be like, yo, you know, we know, we know where your your daughter will go to work, right? And now you got to make this vote because you don't want your daughter to get hurt. It's fucked up all the way around. That's what I'm saying, man. I don't think we got no positive outcome. There's no positive outcome. We just got to let this shit keep going how it has been. Unfortunately, it seemed like that. But y'all niggas should watch this show though. I mean, we could probably transition into that. Movie pass, movie crash. That shit. Shit was pretty good. Shit was and that it, it, it was a happy ending because the niggas who um took over, they fucked the company up. Like the black dude, and I, I mean I want to stop calling him the black dude. Stacy Spikes was the nigga, was the co-founder, and it was another black dude that he partnered up with that had like he had a lot of white friends. So he was able to get like the the money to make the company work. I realized that's kind of how that's mostly how things work in this fucking world. You got a nigga with the idea, and you got another nigga that knows people, and they come together and they get some shit done. So right. Stacy Spikes created the idea of it. It was like the early ages of Netflix type shit. This is when Netflix was just doing the DVDs. He was trying to focus on a subscription model to. Do the same thing, but for people to go to theaters and watch movies. 
came up with the idea, smart nigga, and linked up with another black dude that somebody put him on to. And this other black dude just was an entrepreneur, so he knew people. He he knew how to get money funded, took it to his white homies, like, yo, I got this idea, me and my man's working on this. They raised like $4 million in a day. Stacy was like, yo, I don't know how we gonna do it. And homie was like, yeah, watch me work. Nigga raised four million, uh, four M's. They got their shit popping. But then the two white dudes came in. I think Stacy said it took him 10 years to get to that point where he had the idea and it worked. These white niggas came in and fucked it up in one year. They went like bankrupt. The whole shit shut down. Cause you know, movie pass, you don't really hear about it no more. But then happy ending came around. Stacy was able to come back buy the company after it went bankrupt and now like he's he's successful again doing it i think it's is as of this year so the two white dudes are actually still waiting to go to trial right now for like bank fraud all type of shit and he came back i mean bought the company but it's it just goes to show you man it's everything every industry anything you try to get into you try to be a good person it's all fucked up all the way around just because i think people are fucked up Especially when a lot of money is involved and power. Bring back assassinations, man. Fuck that. Bring back assassinations, man. Like, it's been a while since we had even the threat of that. Like, Bro, bring I that mean, and I, I don't want no sniper nigga type shit, but we need, the world needs a threat to where we could team, we could come back together. Because I think humans are, with the much as social media, like trolling, all this shit we've been talking about, it's just pushing niggas apart, bro. Yeah, pushing humans apart, yep. Like, like what well, we talked about it last week, the fucking blackout at your crib, the shit over here. That shit brings people together because it forces you to fucking have to talk to people. Maybe the world needs to end. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't go that far because I'm still, I mean, you know I mean, I still like things out here. I still like getting pussy. Damn, that sounded wild because I got a shorty and you know what I mean, that's that's the only one I'm getting, but that's still a nice thing that I like to do is all I'm saying. I mean, I like smoking bud. I like watching fucking movies, playing video I games. So. I, I, so. I don't want this shit to end, but some shit needs to happen. Like, we need an asteroid to hit somewhere or some shit. You know what I mean? Like, an alien, some wild got to alien go invasion, yeah. Whoa, like, something has to happen. Right. Things need to be done. Because the way this shit going, bro, it's just pushing niggas apart. We, we, we get in virtual reality, all this other shit, where you don't have to actually be with people. You know what I mean? Like, it's... Speaking of kids, reality, how do you feel yeah. about conference? I actually watched only the first episode. I ain't gonna lie. I watched the first uh, episode. It was the one where homie was trying to end his life. <laughs> so they had the to go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so they had to pull up on him and help him out. I, f- I fuck with the show just because of the concept of it. Okay. The concept of there's a company that employs people. To go and help people around the world that's fucked up or in a position where they need to, like, they need help, they need to a smile, basically. Uh-huh. I like the concept. I only, like I said, I only watched the first episode. Though. I've been, I've been hooked on Chicago PD or playing Zelda. Okay. Zelda, I'm, this shit's so fire. And they, they actually said they're trying to work on, I think, a live action role, uh, a live yeah, action a live movie action for Zelda, for movie, Zelda, which is like the dumbest shit ever. Just make it animated like Mario so you can yeah, make I, would say, I, I don't know about the live action part. I would love to see it animated like, you know what like I mean? Like Super Mario um, Brothers. Yeah, like Super Mario Brothers. Word. Yeah, but the storyline is fire. I ain't gonna lie, man. It's I'll be playing the game and it be moments in the shit where it's like, yo, damn, this shit is this shit is really good, bro. Like, they're telling a really good story here. Tears of the Kingdom, that's the one I'm playing right now. I'm back basically on, I'm back on Kingdom Hearts 3. I beat the the game. I, I was I was beating it. I beat it. It's my third time beating the game. You beat it? I beat it on standard mode. <laughs> then I beat it again. Well, that sounds uh, crazy. Well, I, yeah. Back my jaw now and got busy. I, um then I finished the game again on critical mode, but I had easy codes on. And easy codes is this thing where you can like change the settings to one hit kill enemies. I only did to get the certain cuz you have to beat the game on critical to get a certain keyblade. So I did it on critical mode, and I one shot at every enemy, and got the keyblade in like three hours. Nigga, nigga, game shocked the shit. Game shocked the shit. It's, it's, it's in the game. You can, you're allowed to do it. And then I did. I beat the game again on proud mode, which is just like the regular normal hard mode. 
And um, and then I recently got the ultimate weapon. I was on the game for hours trying to get the ultimate weapon, and it it was just a fucking drag. I got it last night, and I I stopped playing it around like two three in the morning. I went to sleep. I was like, fuck this. This is this is I can't do this no more. So now I got to go back on it and fight the the thirteen uh, organization members um, in a one v one boss battle, and that's gonna kill me. Mm, mm. But I got the ultimate weapon though, so I'm hype about that. Shout out to Sora. Shout out to Sora, my nigga. Shout out to Sora. Kingdom Hearts, man. That's a fire game. I remember when I first heard... Obviously, the first one came out, we was kids. I thought it was some bullshit. And we might have talked about this before, because I yeah, seen Disney did. characters and shit. I'm like, what the fuck is this bullshit? You played that turned, shit. Like, nah, turned this out it was peak. Shit. <laughs> it turned out it was peak. I'm it like, oh, shit. shit. I, I never played the first one when I was young. I played the second one. My friend let me borrow it. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, and I was like, what the fuck is this game? Fuck you just dude. said something. Remember, remember barring shit, barring games. Do yeah, kids still do I, that? Like, well, I mean, uh, like, what could you borrow from a nigga nowadays? That you know, what I'm saying, like, I, what I is buy, there to I borrow? Buy, I don't. I, I buy my games physical. I buy physical media. So if a nigga got a PlayStation Five, he want to borrow my my video game. He can borrow my video game. I, I I fuck with that. I like physical media too. Like it's just something about having, having the shit in it, your possession. Yeah, like it, yeah. I got v, I got a whole bookshelf of physical shit. I got VHS VHS tapes, nigga DVDs. I got DVDs. Yeah, I do too. I got DVDs. I can't even play them shits, but I just want to have it. I got the yeah. Office season three on DVD. I ain't got nowhere to play the shit, nigga. I ain't I got, got an Xbox. I got, nothing. I got the whole Alien trilogy on DVD. I got Terminator two on DVD. Is there something about that? It's fire. Yeah, I got a lot of it's Disney art. movies on DVD. I think it's art. It, it come back. It comes down to us being artists. I think. Yeah, yeah. Because somebody hearing this that's not into the thing, we like, yo, you wasting space. Is it's like it's it's art though. It's like that's why I like plushies. You know what I mean? Shit. Speaking of plushies, me and my shorty last week, they got shout out to Japan, yo. Japan is just so far ahead in type in terms of like culture and cool shit. Shout out to Japan, but this shit pop, it started in Japan and they just bringing them over here to the states. They got claw machine like places like you go and it's just a room full of just claw machines. The claw, can, <laughs> the claw word, and you could fucking they got cool shit. You can know what I mean you could play the claw machine. You pay like twenty dollars for a bunch of coins and. You just playing different claw machines. Like, we got so good at the shit to where we figured out there's an actual technique to doing this shit, nigga. It ain't just, you know what I mean? It's trying to win a game. There's a technique, like, legit. We figured out the technique. We went to this claw machine spot last week. It's in, like, a Chinatown out here. <laughs> Ironically. Nigga, we came up. I got a new fucking Knuckles plushie. I got a Squirtle. I got her like this Pikachu with a Psyduck hat on. Fire shit, bro. I mean, like, cool plushies. Not no bullshit. Like, fire, fire shit. Like, super fire. Shout out, shout out to Japan. Cause, like, I, that, we, 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 been, we actually been to two. Actually, this was the second I one we went to. get married in Japan. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not against that, too. Like, me and my shorty trying to take a trip to Tokyo soon. <laughs> but we, uh, you know, I mean, we, we, doing some other things too but i definitely want to get that's married not a, that's not a bad idea i want to get married and have a honeymoon out there i definitely do or, or I, I know honeymoon it's, probably is honestly if in terms of marriage me and my shorty talked about this shit i don't really want to have like a wedding i want to just have us get married by ourselves and then just have a party yeah or have have a small wedding have certain friends because i'm not inviting my cousins from fucking nova scotia in fucking uh Afghanistan. I'm not inviting everybody. Man, you got Middle Eastern and white cousins? That's crazy. Uh, you learn something example. new every it was, day. It was, it was examples, motherfucker. Yeah, I mean, hey, maybe you do, nigga. How do you know? Can you nah, prove that? If I did have family in Afghanistan, nigga, fuck them. They they <laughs> they have destroyed Manhattan. <laughs> I'm a man. I, I can't fact prove that or fact check it, and I'm not gonna. But if if, if in the slight chance that it's not, sorry, Afghanistan. <laughs> sorry, yeah, sorry, Afghanistan. If it's not, if it's not true, but as of right now, with a, but if it's with, true, fuck with, y'all niggas, with, man. What Bush told us, they tried to destroy Manhattan. Okay, <laughs> when the WWF restaurant was there, the nerve of you motherfuckers. The nerve of you niggas. The ESPN the, zone was the, still there, nigga. My nigga. The fuck is wrong with y'all? Toys R Us was there. Y'all could have picked something else, bro. Y'all could have picked the Bronx. <laughs> Niggas could have picked Newark. It already looked yeah, like that. Exactly. 
Shout out to all our New Jersey listeners. <laughs> what was they like? Number four, five on the, on the listener list? <laughs> Y'all could have chose a bridge. Y'all watch no disaster movies? Get a bridge. Y'all niggas ain't seen Day After Tomorrow, bro. Right. Hit the bridge. That'd be way more catastrophic than hitting the towers. Niggas run it. Niggas hit the towers, bro. What the you fuck stop- was wrong with these niggas? Yeah. Y'all, y'all could stop niggas from going to Manhattan. Don't destroy Manhattan. Niggas really, yo, see, this is this is what we're talking about. This whole episode is about tragedies and assassinations. The towers really fell, bro. We lived through that shit. Remember and when we niggas thought it was an accident? Shit, we was, yeah, we was in niggas school. Niggas thought it was an accident until the second one happened. Bro. Yeah, what? Like, oh, oh, that's all right. Oh, no, it was a terrorist attack. <laughs> 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 the first one hit niggas, niggas like, said, oh, oh that's all right. Oh, man. Said, that, Damn, that pilot must have just fucked up. Yeah, that, that, the foolish pilot. <laughs> The second, second one hit, niggas was like, like, oh my god, no, I'm gonna die. <laughs> nigga was in terror, bro. Niggas was in terror. But what niggas- happened right after that? America was America, man. I'm American. Niggas came together. Then, 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 on top of the wild shit, I don't know if y'all niggas had this, but I vividly remember, right? And this is how I know kids just be saying shit. <laughs> Kids just say shit, my nigga, because I vividly remember like five niggas in my classroom was like, my mother worked at the Twin Towers. <laughs> niggas just heard Twin Towers. And niggas heard, and just and, and to everybody's bring... parents worked there. Like, you know what? <laughs> it's, I'm, I, I think deeper, I, I like, I'm a psychology, sociology nigga. Those are probably trolls now. They were just probably trying to fit in. They didn't have attention as a kid, and they probably just thought that was the way they could get attention. <laughs> Fuck that baby, nigga. <laughs> Put Damn. the bottle down, Jamal. <laughs> Take this 40. <laughs> <laughs> nah, real shit. And I know Crack Rock Lot familiar. If y'all remember, if y'all was, you know, in school when the towers fell. In New York school. was a nigga cause... in the classroom. Like, my mother worked there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just yeah, mama don't even got a job, Mama don't even got a job. Mother sell pussy. <laughs> you talking about she worked at the... Yeah, she do work at the Twin Towers, nigga. She working with two dicks right now, nigga, in her mouth, you fucking weirdo. Fucking lying ass, nigga. Word. I'm sitting there looking like... My, I remember my, my aunt came to pick me up from school. That's how I knew she was real. We had to pick my mother up from downtown Brooklyn. That shit felt like... You you just watched Smiley Friends, right? So you seen that, mm-hmm. the, the part when they was inside... Um, the little, the nigga crib when he took took son to his parents' house to make him feel better. Yeah, yeah. You remember his little was brothers running around in the house. <laughs> that's what that's what New York looked like. <laughs> nah, thanks. You know what I'm saying? That shit was crazy, bro. Nigga, yeah. I remember, bro. I was in I was in sixth grade, junior high, two thousand one. You was in sixth grade? Yeah, I was in sixth grade. Word. Nigga, I just, wait, you three I just started junior me? high. I'm yeah, nigga, I, I think so. Word, I'm thirty three. I'm 34 this year. Oh, you be 30? Yeah, yeah. You, you remember three? Yeah, I was in third yeah. grade, nigga. Yeah, were. I was in sixth. Dang, so you was in elementary I still. I was in elementary. That's why I said kids, nigga. Was, yeah, kids word. say anything, nigga. Nah, I was a grown ass nigga in yeah, junior high, grown. nigga. Yeah, word, you was nigga. I was, I was touching you pussy was back then. About fucking. Yeah, I remember. Shout out to Stacy. Look, yeah, I came around. Was, yeah, yeah. Puerto Rican shorty in my class. I Damn, had the meanest so crust on her. You was in high You was in high school. Yeah. Holy shit! Nigga, I had hair in my chest at that point, nigga. Yeah, you was. <laughs> yeah, holy shit! You grown man was. Mm-hmm. Grown man. Yeah, holy fucking cow! I remember junior high, and I'm just damn. Like I, I, I just be thinking about shit, and I'm like, damn, I want to have kids, but I was <laughs> just thinking about shit, bro. I was in junior high. I remember we went on a school trip to the beach, legit, like the beach, nigga. Out in the rock. Me and this Puerto Rican chick, uh, Stacy. I ain't never did nothing with Shorty, but I had we, we we was like crushing on each other. I remember we sat on the swings, like <laughs> I sat on the swing and she sat like on me on the swing, but like like she was facing me, type shit. Nigga, I thought that shit was the greatest shit in the world, bro. <laughs> At that time, I was like, yo, yes, I am a man. <laughs> I fucking made it. But nah, I remember a nigga being in junior high, sixth grade, fucking twat, the, the towers fell, nigga. Like, it went over the loudspeaker. You know that fucking PA sound, like mm-hmm. right, right, it, right after it, the Pledge of Allegiance. Mm-hmm. It was early. It was early in the morning too. Yep. That when shit we, was when early. we used to have us fucking pledging allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. That shit was wild, bro. Yeah, one like, justice for all, indivisible. 
By the God, with liberty and justice. Under Paul? God, they, Under they brought God. God into the school they put systems. God, they put bro. my nigga God in there. It's God, like yo, whoa, whoa, nigga, whoa, get off my dick, with all y'all niggas. <laughs> I don't even like some of you niggas. Word, get off my dick, nigga. The pledge of allegiance, niggas, literally pledged to the flag. Now, nigga, I remember motherfucking junior high school. There was I ain't gonna put the shorty name out there, but there was this very promiscuous girl. Shout out to Timbaland. Shout out to promiscuous girl. She used to do this shit where she would rub, rub, rub niggas' uh, situations under the table. Oh, that's like shorty. <laughs> nah, nah. Go ahead, go ahead. And that's, that's like how that bringing it back around. She did that shit to me in algebra class. I was like, yeah, bitches. <laughs> niggas said bitches. <laughs> niggas said I'm a man. Hell yeah. Hey, yeah. Shout out to the bitches, man. <laughs> <laughs> damn, it's wild. It was a damn, bro. It was. I'm just thinking about in high school. Like, I, I ain't even gonna say what I was gonna say. And this is before we was fucking incriminating. This is, we was convoluted with like, because now we see titties every day. I see titties whether I like it or not, whether I want to see them or not on social media. Word, I'd be like, I don't even want to see them this titties. By the time when you know what I'm saying, when you seen a bitch had little polkas in her shirt, you're like, God, God damn, them, them Jones is great mm-hmm. American bull. You ain't even, you couldn't see no cleavage. Nothing. Nothing. You just seen bitch had a bump- t-shirt on. T- you just seen bumps in a shirt. You like, yeah, she got some thotties. <laughs> she got bumps like a truck. <laughs> yeah, nigga. This is good Damn, time. Damn, bro. We we was corrupted as a youth. Yeah, we was corrupted as a youth. I'm we just was. thinking about all the shit. We had the thong song. Wrestling. Wrestling. I, bro, Lita, I remember. Trish I remember. Man, I remember bitches, this girl in, in this is junior high, but I'm probably like in seventh, eighth grade. Come to think about it, this shit is so sad. This bitch was dating a nigga that was in like she said the nigga was in high school. I'm thinking that nigga might have been older, bro. Like, which is even more sick. Like that she she used to brag about this nigga. And I'm like, yo, that was that was so common back then. Yo, definitely common back then of, of niggas dating bitches. Yeah, hell yeah, that was the shit for bitches. We used to hate them niggas, bro. Yeah, I used to hate on this nigga. Like that was, I was. That's what I was coming around to. Like I didn't like her. She was my homie, but I used to hate on this nigga. And, and it's probably because I knew something was wrong back then. I just hated on this nigga. She, it, it was, you didn't think were, nothing was. Were, you you might have, but I didn't really think nothing was wrong with it. I just felt like. I didn't think anything was. Were, I don't think I thought mature. it was wrong. I looked at the bitch my, like she was mature. Yeah, but I also think there was a small part of my brain that was just like, yo, something is off. Because I'm telling you, bro, I just hated this nigga for no reason. I didn't know what he looked like. This is before camera phones and shit. I didn't know what the nigga looked like. She would just talk about him. I guess because she talked about him so much. I'm like, yo, man, fuck that nigga, man. <laughs> like, yeah, she was definitely trying, trying to throw salt in, the, in your you eye. You don't go to this school? Yeah, Like, right. what the fuck? Right. Yeah, it, it was this wild, bro. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Kids. Fucking kids, bro. Shit's kids, crazy. Man. Damn. Crazy, 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 crazy. My Shout first out year. to our topic list. We didn't get into none of these shits, but it's all we, good. We never get into our topic list. <laughs> Drugs is here. Oh, my God. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Bam, bam. Dun, 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 dun. Mm-hmm. <laughs> man, yeah, we just be we just be blabbling. We we be potting, man. This is a good pod right here. It, it is. is. It is. It really we is. Talked about man shit. Yeah, yo, R. I. P. Bill Walton. Man. I got a weed crusher for sale. You selling? A, is it a used weed crusher? It's. A, I mean, who who? who it's no. It's it's dead stock. <laughs> you know what's so funny? I have my, my first ever weed crusher. I still have that shit. Shout out to Shorty. Like, we cool now. You know what I mean? We, we ain't beefing no more. Fake beefing or mental beefing, whatever I thought. She, when we was together, she gave me this weed crusher. I still have the same one. This shit is like at least like 15 years old, bro. Now that I think about it. And the shit still works <laughs> very well. Apparently, it was a really good one. I didn't know what a good weed crusher was back then, but shit. The shit lasted, nigga. The shit still works very well. With all the bud residue and everything in that shit. Still shit still crushing up. Actually, I got the weed crushes. I found another one in my room. I hate weed crushes, 
You hate weak, would you? You still crushing up with your hand? I don't, yeah, I that's wouldn't the best say way. That's actually the best way. If you 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 should know that because breaking weed with the with the crusher takes away some of the THC from the yeah. You, you and and that's what I was about to say. That's where all the, the sticky it. shit. Yeah, you can see it in your crusher. Like that's not nothing. Yeah, it's not nothing. Yeah, it's, that's, the, the crusher I have is iridescent, so it looks it looks nice. It looks really nice. Damn niggas is. Shout out my nigga Ao man. My nigga used to crush bud. Roll the bud, my nigga. Ao doing man. a handstand, nigga. At late. the same time, yo, drugs. How many packs of weed we bought? <laughs> oh man, yeah. No, from yeah. not from. Wait, <clears throat> um, you just bought them. What? I'm trying to see where you going with this, so we oh, no, got clean some hey, shit yo, up. We, we, we used to, nigga. What? Nice when I used oh, to yeah. have. I don't know what the fuck with Manu. I don't know what baby moms is doing. But it was nice. We was at my baby mom's crib, nigga, and, and they was out. Yo, drugs. Watch paying for like five minutes. Mother get some weed. <laughs> niggas, niggas be up to five in the morning watching. Yeah, Yo, niggas really had shit. some cool ass times, bro. No real shit. Like even how we met, nigga. Like we wasn't supposed to meet. I wasn't supposed to meet none of you, niggas. Keeping it a buck. Like I mean, we all met on some random shit. There's no. It's, if you think about it, though, every, every almost every. Genuine organic friendship is like that. When you look back at how you met, none of yeah, us true. was like, it, you know what I'm saying? You can say that up for all of us. None of us was supposed to meet. Like, you know what true, I'm saying? True. Like, it was. I mean, our situations was wild though. Like, nigga, I, I met this nigga drugs in Buffalo. Right. <laughs> like, legit. Not even in the town. Crazy. Obviously, but, niggas had connections, yeah, but yeah, the, but the connection was too organic, nigga. I probably would have yeah. met you anyway. True, true. Like you know what I'm saying? So it's just crazy that it happened that way. Like, and how if you, I never met my baby moms. I would have never met y'all niggas. Not right. facts. Right. That shit's crazy. And, and it's funny, like shit with um how we met Mars, like. He used to be around type shit because of the situation. And you know how that shit is. You younger. You be sizing niggas up. At least in my brain. Like, I ain't, I ain't never the type of nigga to size a nigga up and, like, try to play him. But mm-hmm. it's I was just... Y- I was that homeboy... Uh, sisters... Gr- uh, man. Yeah, yeah, it, it yeah, yeah. yeah, it was really one of those situations so where we like, was trying to rectify a nigga up. the energy. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. The first time I went to her crib, right? And I'm, the first time I went to her crib, I met... Far ride, Angela, and I was mad fucking nervous because she, she had an older brother. Word, you know what I'm saying? Word. And it was like he's 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 there, he's taller than me, and he got another <laughs> dark tall. and tall nigga with him. <laughs> as way I ain't go front. The word, I ain't go front. That's a that's a threatening situation. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And the niggas was just very mad. nervous. Niggas was the coolest niggas ever. I'm like, yeah, nah, nigga. facts. I was on the phone with her that night. I'm like, Yo, your brother's just white. She's like, get my brother dick. I'm like, nah, that nigga's mad cool, my nigga. <laughs> that nigga mad cool, bro. Word. <laughs> Yeah. Yo, does he have? Does he need another friend? Like, Word, and then boom, <laughs> just like that, nigga. It was that's my brother, nigga. Mm-hmm. And and that was, was that was kind of how the conversation I had with him too. Like the first time I had seen you, Mars, uh-huh. he had he kind of had. I think we was smoking. Uh, I think it was with Ao too, but um, he was kind of just telling me he was like he was like yeah that's money that's money boyfriend he was like. Like yeah, nah, that nigga mad cool, bro. He 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 family. And I was like, all right. Like, cause Man. I already peep your energy when I met you. Like, we ain't really have much conversation type shit. We said what up? But it wasn't uh-huh. like a you know what I mean? Like a Right, right, right. But I already felt your energy. You already you know what I mean? Like I I was like, all right, nah, nah, this nigga, he seemed like I just nigga seem like he a cool fly nigga, like you know what I mean. So I'm like, nah, this he, 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 he cool people, bro. Yeah, facts, bro, facts. And then we ended up spending holidays together and all time. It was just crazy. After, after, and after it was over, once I, once we had once we had Peyton, it was over. It was like set stone. Yeah, nah, facts. Man, hops. My situation is is even more wild. It get deeper than that. Like I went, I was in second grade with Farah. Like legit. Like we went to the same school, nigga, same class. We got fucking pictures together as kids. Come back around, we get older, and we fucking end up meeting again and being homies. Like, yeah. Oh, for the Xbox, that was the wild part. Like, I never met Farah like in person until like Xbox type shit. 
I heard the nigga voice, you know what I mean? I'm like, yeah, it's cool, nigga, cool. And then this is when we started, me, D, we started going to Brooklyn and hanging out with y'all niggas and shit. And the first time I think we had, I walked past him. We was on the shuttle or some shit. Walked past him. We were just in Brooklyn. I'm like, yeah, why this nigga look familiar? Then, boom, we end up realizing, oh, shit, this the same. Oh, my nigga, yeah. I ain't, that, now, that's a while. I ain't never had no shit like that. I was in the school with a nigga. Didn't know him for years. Graduated the elementary Graduated junior high, graduated high school. Certain shit just meant to be, my nigga. <laughs> and then met the nigga again? Like, what the fuck? That's wild, certain, my certain, nigga. Certain, certain shit just be meant to be, I bro. I mean, certain you time. met the Fact. nigga in the same city that you grew up in. Yeah, I mean, my no, nigga, it's mad people in that God, city, God, bro. God bless, God bless my nigga soul. My son, the one that passed away last year, right? I knew him since second grade. He was my first friend. when yeah. I, cause I, I lived in East New York, but I moved to Ocean Hill. I went to 155. And I met him there. He was his name was Dewan. My name was Javon. So we clicked. Mm. So I'm saying we had an obsession of, with action figures. He had the ill drag every Dragon Ball Z toy I didn't have. He had every toy that he didn't have. I had. So it was lit. And he was a troublemaker. He was the nigga that was in the back of the class because he was talking too much, doing too much in class. And I was right there in the back with him because I was wilding too. Yeah. Third grade together, fourth grade, fifth grade, sixth grade. I went to different schools, but we always we lived across the street from each other. So it was like. I was at his crib all the time. Uh, uh, junior high, uh, high school, we stayed in contact. You feel what I'm saying? And then uh, after high school, I would see him here and there. See him around. If I'm on a bus, I'll run into the nigga randomly. You know what I'm saying? And then one, when I right. did run into him after high school, whatever, I was working. It's around the time, right? 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 Around the time I had Peyton. Um, I went to his house. We smoked weed. Da, 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 da. I didn't see his mom's a while long. He had moved from Ocean Hill. And then after that, it went dark. Like, I ain't seen a nigga in years. Nigga, the second week of me living in Pennsylvania, I'm getting off work, nigga. Walking home, nigga. Who I run into? This nigga. Certain yeah. shit just be meant to be, bro. It, did, like, it be meant to be, for real. Like, I, I look be. at it like all that shit. Me and my shorty, like, we legit broke up, nigga. Like, we weren't together for, like, a whole almost year. And now, like, our relationship is even, like, stronger, my nigga. Like... It's some, it's, like, it'd be like that. It'd it be like that, legit. It'd be like, like that. It'd be like that, bro. For real, for real. It's crazy. Like when you meet, and you're right. When you meet people in your life, it don't it don't matter what type of relationship it is, friendship, like like you just energies match. I think that's the main point yep. about this whole episode. Like energy, humans. People, we need humans. Like we need other people for sure. I think this world, though, where it's going with technology and shit, is trying to like force us to be apart a lot, yeah, yeah. or like away from each other. You streaming, you watching. That's why streaming is so popular. Like people fuck with Kai. My short, me and my shorty legit watch the Kai and Kevin Hart stream. She don't even watch streams. She watch pod, but she just fuck with Kai because he like, yo, he looks. He re- first of all, she's like, he reminds me of you, your personality. Like, yeah, I just seem, yeah, y'all are just very opening and welcoming and just funny and friendly. Like, it just seems like that's why, and that's why people watch streaming. You know what I'm saying? Like, you connecting with somebody that's just on a sh- fucking camera, but their personality is what you fuck with. So the energy feels safe. Right. It's like, yo, nah, I fuck with this nigga, man. This nigga silly, bro. Nah, this nigga cool. It's, it's all the same shit, bro. And then when you meet a motherfucker that's like the opposite, I think that's where you be like, yo, man, fuck that nigga, bro. <laughs> like, that nigga weird, son. Like, nah, man, why the nigga like that? Because it's just so different than what you, that what's comfortable for you. Yeah. Yeah, word up. Word up. Shit, wow, man. Damn. Episode 112, we, we over here, we went level five. We talked about chocolate milk. <laughs> Talked about, talked, about our, talked about our origins, <laughs> origin story. Word, like, yeah. Not to mention when, we, when niggas, when nigga, I never forget nigga when that nigga far let me hear drugs music for the first time. I was like, who the f-? and and then, and then you produced Man. it. I was like, who the fuck is these niggas? Niggas, <laughs> who what are the, these niggas? These the same niggas I met. These niggas in the crib making magic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all that shit is fire, bro. Y'all niggas pulling up to the crib. Niggas used to record in the closet, mad hot. 
Yeah. Smoking bud. Like, smoking I remember bud. when I first started smoking bud in the crib, and I used to try to hide the shit. Even though my pops was a heavy bud smoker, nigga. Like, it's just one of those things. Nigga, nigga. We, used to, we used to be outside your crib having to get hot and go right back to word. the stoop. Yo, and then go back that? to the stoop. <laughs> then go back to the you, stoop. You drive me to the train station and shit. That shit was crazy. Word, word, we, bro, all that. we wasn't even legal yet out here, so we still had to duck niggas. Come on, yeah, man. word, 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 son. Niggas, Remember niggas our first had techniques. Niggas went on tour. I had one show. <laughs> niggas went on tour, nigga. <laughs> word up. <laughs> That was a tour, nigga. You can fuck that. that can't tour, tell me nigga. That was a tour, nigga. Niggas drove for a show and then smoked drug, the shit. We bought a random drug dealer with us. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yeah, man. shit was crazy. Shit, we huh? really was riding around with a random drug dealer. A ra- with mad weed. He had nigga. mad bud. And he was, the nigga, we met him on the Humble. It was like, y- y'all knew him already. But the nigga just got in the car and had mad weed on him. <laughs> That was the wildest shit that ever, was the wildest bro. Shit. Like, you got boy, you're like, yeah, I think I had weed the last for a, like two days. That shit <laughs> was crazy. You and not to mention smoked up. two two days, but not to mention we were smoking countless like amounts yeah. of like, like niggas like, always had a split. Like, like literally Word. in every situation, like. And then he's recording music. The, in the nigga telly. even had more to sell when he when we got out. Yeah, that's the- <laughs> I'm like, yeah. yo, bro, this nigga must have. This nigga boofed all the weed. <laughs> <laughs> nigga said, this nigga is weed. He just pulling that shit off his body. It wasn't no bad weed either. <laughs> nah, hell it no. It crazy. It wasn't son. no bad weed. Because he, it was, he was supposed to come with us, right? He was... Uh, I can't remember. From, from what we... From what we were... From what I remember, I'm going to say. He, he, he kind of prided himself on what he smoked. So, yeah, he... Yeah, he wasn't... Yeah, for what, what I, I, I don't know. It wasn't I think trashy. it was either D or Far. I was supposed to. Come, well, somebody was supposed to come with us. He wasn't supposed to come with us. Now I think. I think. I know he inserted himself into wanting to come because he wanted to sell Bud. Yeah, I, re- I remember that for a fact. Like I remember that part being like he he wanted to come because he said he wanted to like get some Bud off or whatever. Even that is still kind of wild though. Just to like end up on a trip and we even get pulled over. God, you know what I mean, shout out to God. God shout was out, yo, out. yo, go, yo, bro. I remember me and the homies, and you I was from New York to Philly, three hours, bro. Yeah, three hours, bro. Facts to Penn State University, nigga. It's crazy, crazy. I remember, nigga, me and I ain't going. Me and and some homies, family members, and homies. We used to run around and 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 and, and we did a lot of federal shit. We did a, we did some, we was doing some real fifteen year mm-hmm. jail shit if we'd have got caught. Doing what we was, I ain't gonna say what we was doing, but we never got pulled over doing what the fuck we was doing, and we was wilding, like we was, we was out, we was wilding, we was wilding, and not in the the the, the car was filled with shit, mm-hmm. and we never got pulled over not one time. Yeah, shout out to God, man. Shout out to God. That shit is crazy. These niggas bro. doing that shit right now, listening to this pod, like, hey, y'all niggas don't even know the half word. Niggas Stop. doing that shit right now. Shout out to God, man. Shout out to God. Not one Shout time. Shout out to God. Word. Not one time. That shit is crazy. Shit crazy, man. Um, NBA Finals is set, man. Luka is that motherfucking nigga. Kyrie is that nigga. Celtics about to get their ass kicked. Celtics, I don't yeah. think they stand a chance. Yeah. Them, so. them boys out I, there are soft as hell. I, I hope so, man. But, you know, I'm going to be honest with y'all, man. Boston has every piece and every they they prob the percentage gotta be higher on them being able to walk away in this series than uh than Dallas. I'm sorry. Like they got it. Realistically, but I don't think they got the dog in them to do it. The matchup is too crazy. Like Dallas the matchup, story is crazy. matchup is is just not great enough. The story is crazy. Them niggas got like traded for each other. Like Porzingis was on Dallas. They sent him to wherever, and then he ended up on Boston. Right. Kyrie was on uh, Celtics. Went to Brooklyn. Stomped on the Celtics fucking mascot face. They tried to make that like a big deal. Like he was, like he shot a nigga. Yeah, because Boston fans is nasty out there. So yeah, them niggas is racist. You could we yeah. could say it. They ain't nasty. Them niggas racist. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like. 
it's the storyline is, and then he now comes back with the modern day Larry Bird, but better, a white boy to Dallas. Mm-hmm. Just come on, bro. You can't write a better story. I mean, it's 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 to be honest, it's mad levels of shit. Both sides has great stories. Um, mm, Celtic story ain't that great. What's so great about they side? I mean, they're Boston, they're the Boston Celtics. And fuck them niggas, man. Shout out to Jason Tatum. Yeah, I feel that way about the Lakers and yeah, yeah, other teams too, nigga. But it's just a fact, like. Yeah, not true. Historically, they're yeah. There. Like, they're on that podium. So, yeah, again, yeah. we have to see the Celtics in the NBA Finals. Um, yeah, that's, Jason that Tatum, is true. Um, they've been writing this nigga's... Yeah, yeah. They've been writing they, his, this nigga's story for the longest. You know, his um, inspiration from Kobe and stuff like that. So, you know, they've been... Tr- I think they've been trying so tired to... tired of that shit, but I think they forced they him to put to that find text out. They're trying to find a face of the, the NBA. That's 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 what we end. Like, we end that transition from leaving LeBron to, like, yeah. kind of find who is that guy for sure. And it's like everybody is kind of faulty after, like, that era. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the, the newer era, it seems like these niggas is just, you know, they, they, I don't know, like, they just not really built the same. Um, not to say that they not as talented or even more talented. It's just, I'm like you they're said. They're probably more talented. I think they just, it's a different time. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a different time. The game is played a lot differently. Um, yeah, and like you said, this is softer, like, you know. Like this, this soft. Yeah. Um. You you seen the Anthony Edwards commercial? I didn't for his new Adidas. I think I put it in the chat. I don't. Nah, I don't think I seen it. Shit, fire! Basically, it's kind of playing on that where you know they calling him the face of the league now. Which you know, I mean, he can be. I don't know if he's gonna be that in Minnesota though. That's nah. It's gonna be very tough. highly unlikely in my what opinion. Team, yeah. What team do y'all think Ant will like? I mean, he's good on the Timberwolves, but what what team do you think he would go to? I I would, yeah. I I know it's probably unrealistic, but I mean, for right now, if we you know making shit up, mm, I, if I go to for what? What you mean? Like just and to make him like to possibly be the face leave or? In Minnesota. I'm guessing he's possibly saying. leaving Minnesota. What team? You think he would go? To? I was gonna say Chicago. I ain't gonna lie. It's as big as it's a big city. You want y'all but, want y'all want the more Jordan comparisons? Nah, uh, me personally, I think. Chicago, don't get me wrong. Chicago would definitely go for him for sure. But in my opinion, I don't think he would do that because of that. Uh, specifically, what you said, yeah, and probably. It, it would. It just not. It's not realistic. It's like you literally chasing this nigga's. Kind yeah, of yeah, I said cold. Chicago, and I, I wasn't even thinking of Jordan. That's so wild. Like that's that's a wild part. I said Chicago, just thinking about the team where they at right now. But <laughs> Jordan didn't even come to my mind. But that's crazy that I did say that. I know Is that. Yeah, that, I know I it sounds crazy, bro. But I would say more of like, a, and I and I don't know if the markets match up and shit like that, but. I would say a team, and not, and I'm not saying that because this is my team either. But I would say the Brooklyn Nets for one, that that can be a team, and I only say that because it's a major city, right? And there's no legacy. The mm, Brooklyn yeah. Nets specifically, not New Jersey Nets. The Brooklyn Nets, there's nobody yeah, there have really nothing. in the history books. You got KD they up tried. there dropping fifty multiple times. You got you know, they don't have a guy that was there and like wreck, wreaked havoc and stayed for. You know, what I mean, they had impact. KD and Kyrie and them niggas being there, that shit was like just like a you, that shit could be forgettable in like five years. Yeah, that unfortunately, shit was like, that's it. When K dot and them niggas was there, and K, I said K dot when KD and them niggas there, that shit was like. <laughs> When Melo when and Stoudemire was on the Knicks, like that shit was good for nah 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 nah. Melo on the Knicks, Melo got respect on the nah, Knicks. Like yeah, he, it's, yeah. they call him a Nick. He's a Nick for sure. Yeah, it's it's like he in the pictures with them niggas. It's a slight difference because of 
the impact. Yeah, I think that's what it right? is too. The impact. Um, the Knicks before that. What was the last relevancy? So Spreewell before that. Spreewell and them niggas. Yeah, Spreewell. Yeah, yeah. Barely and even I, that. I did, like, we gotta go back. I, to Patrick I Ewing. love seeing Spreewell and them niggas on the like court side. The Knicks treated. I don't know if it was like a thing with Dolan, whoever made sure them niggas was there. But I love seeing that Spreewell, Allen Houston, Melo, Tim Hardo. Uh, I mean, Tim Thomas, Patrick Ewing. Mm-hmm. John Star, all them niggas courtside watching watching the Knicks. Yeah. The, the the basketball needs the Knicks to be good. I know niggas always say that, but it's New York, bro. You can't as much as niggas try to say New York ain't whatever, niggas love New York, bro. Niggas love the town. Yeah. So for a sports team to be successful or not be successful, it it hurts the entire league. Yeah. And it does. And to be the face, right? You you always so, gonna be so, that guy. Would so that be mad if Ant was there? I wouldn't be mad, but I don't think to that's like possible. Yeah. Well, they have Jalen Brunt. They they kind of have their team. All right. So their coaching, based on their coaching, I mean, it's possible, but more than likely not. And I'm gonna say here's why. Right. Tom Thibodeau. His system is the point guard at the pinnacle. The point is the guard type yeah. shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, literally point guard. And he got a bunch of role players. He got different guys that do different things. They specialists. More times than not, they all can shoot and they all can run the floor. So he like and guys defense. that can play and dance in different positions. Yep, defense. Always defense. He basically recreated the Chicago Bulls team yeah. with D Rose, but yeah. a little hybrid version. That's his, that's his model. He's been trying to recreate that energy since he came uh, from Chicago. He was doing that in Minnesota. Was it Minnesota? Yeah, I say, I about to say, look how I come around. He went to Minnesota first with D Rose. Yep, and Did he coach Ant. And I don't think he Jimmy was there Butler. when Ant was there. He had Jimmy. Yeah, he had he had Jimmy there there what? too. That's why Jimmy. That's part of why I think Jimmy went there. Yeah, bro. But Jimmy, Jimmy, he didn't fuck with none of them niggas. <laughs> That's why he, he was out of there quick. Yeah, but it wasn't he was rooting coaching. against them niggas. I think it was more so just the players and probably the yeah. He didn't fuck with Cat, bro. Like he didn't fuck with none of them niggas. Yeah. Jimmy, I, that's Jimmy. I fuck with nigga. Jimmy just seemed like a real nigga. He's great at what he does, but he'll call you out on some shit if you're doing some like fuck shit. I think a lot of NBA players. Niggas make a lot of money, but a lot of these niggas be like mad, weird, and soft. Like the trolls we talked about, mm-hmm. a lot of them NBA mm-hmm. niggas be like that too. Still, oh uh, yeah, they just got money and they young. Like I, same type of shit. I actually read an article too, bro. Uh, Phoenix may be pushing for Jimmy Butler. No, I seen Bronny. He, he, I mean Bronny about to. It's it's gonna be tough to be Bronny, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I feel bad. Phoenix. I don't feel bad for the nigga, but Phoenix was one of the teams That's that the you know what I mean. Team. That's like the oh word. Me personally, Phoenix and the Lakers. Yeah, well, the Lakers because that's already the team. Obviously. His pops is there. His pops is already there. So they they gonna do whatever they can to keep keep his pops there. Like, but um, me personally, I think it makes sense for Braun to dip off and go to Phoenix. And I know oh. it's not about Braun, but it is kind of about Braun. Like, that's really what it's, it's about. about it's, Braun. The, it's the package deal. Like, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Because Big you don't want Brawny, <clears throat> as cool as it may seem, Brawny coming there to L.A., it's it's just too crazy in L.A. That's too, too big, too big of a spotlight right I mean, now. That's in his my hometown, opinion. too. Yeah, yeah. But his pops already played there, right? He already kind of... It's just too much to kind of, you know what I mean? Like, Phoenix is more of somewhere where he could, it's, it, I feel like it's a cleaner start, you know? Like, the pressure is yeah. not all the way as high as it being True. in L.A. Like, and all the stars there in your face. Hollywood. Niggas counting yeah. Hollywood. On you to drop it's still 20, Hollywood. 15 and 8 every game. <laughs> Yeah, true that. 
So, true that, true that, man. I don't know. And just imagine, bro, Braun with a couple years, last couple years playing, he ended off playing with KD, Devin Booker, Bradley Bill, and whatever pieces they happen to move, move around. Like, you never know how that goes, man. Like, that, that, that could be really crazy. Yeah. I mean, I I don't want to see Boston win to kind of end this shit, but I wouldn't be mad if Jalen Brown and I'm the, I, and I I do love Jalen Brown getting the MVP. Yeah, for the uh, East. I hope Conference he does. Finals. I, I hope he go that. hard. I hope if if they do win, and I do low key feel like they may win. That that might burn me. I, I, oh man. I don't, I'm, I don't, I don't know. Like I don't see teams. Luka and Kyrie letting them niggas win, bro. But Boston, they got so many pieces, my nigga. Like, bro, they have the perfect team. Uh, yo, niggas got Drew can't. Holiday. Yo, bro, like, bro, niggas. That nigga is a beast, bro. Niggas, our dislike for over there is so bad that we try to deny it. Like niggas be trying yeah. to push potato to be that nigga so much. But every other night, it's another nigga on that team going. It's another crazy. Nigga, bro. They got Derek White, bro. Derek White was a beast. It's now that I'm thinking about it, they, them niggas got too many niggas, bro. They got Al Horford. He was a beast for how many years in Atlanta? Couldn't overcome and win. Poor Zingas. He's nice. I, Derek White. I, Drew Holiday, bro, they got mad niggas over bro, there, bro. Listen to me, bro. The IQ of this finals is gonna come out, right? Yeah. I'm. A, I'm. Yeah, a, yeah. Before we end this, real quick, right? Jason Kidd is the greatest player of all time, nigga. I, I've been standing on that since I've been knowing basketball. You heard? The, he's the coach for Dallas Mavericks. He has two of the point guards in the league, right? Um, outside of the other, you know, couple of. Guards in the, in the in the league that run that shit too, but um, the way okay with Derek Lavi, all right, the matchups. I, I just want to see how coaching manipulate. I want to see basketball to the T, bro. Like they have Porzingis, they have Al Horford, like you just named. Those guys could move around somewhat. They could guard the perimeter somewhat. And they could play at the perimeter. So that means they could shoot out there. So that means Derek mm-hmm. Lively, Gafford, niggas like that, that are pivotal pieces. Is is starting to seem like for Dallas. Um, they have to come outside. Yeah. PJ Washington, he got a guard, niggas like Jalen Brown. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to PJ, oh, man. man. That nigga bro. came from Charlotte shitty ass to NBA Finals after all the Britney Renner shit. My nigga still came up on top. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man. I'm, I'm excited to see what this final's going to look like. I'm tuned in pretty much every I'm game. I'm ready for the NFL. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> NCAA dropping soon. Talk about I didn't want to bring that up, but shout out Caitlin Clark, man. I fuck with Caitlin too. We gonna be we gonna be running that bitch. I'm gonna be running that bitch up. I'm, I'm that's why I'm I'm trying to get all my game and I need to get out the way out the way so I can focus on NC double motherfucking is a man is a. Mm. Yeah, I can't right. I can't wait to see how they incorporate you know just different things. It's cross play confirmed. Uh, more than likely, um, I'm not doubting that. I, I'm not doubting that. So we could run some shit, drugs. We could run some matches. Yeah, I'm not doubting that, bro. EA uh, servers. I mean, yeah, yeah. I, I, I would probably bet on it. The 2K crossplay? Yeah, 2K crossplay. All, all the sports game, from what I know, especially like specifically basketball and football, is crossplay. Okay, nice. Nice, 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 nice. All right, niggas. Crack in the 80s, man. Get us out of here, Mars. These Ah. niggas, these niggas, these, 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 these. What is this number in your pocket? I remember remember when you 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 used to throw those things things away. That's a wild line. Like, he he admitted that his bitch was still talking to niggas, but she used to throw the shit away. Now, she keeping them? She keeping them. Like, damn, bro. It's over. It's over. <laughs> it's that over the now. Are they better than it's Boys over to Men? Now. We this is too late in the top in the pod to get to that, bro. But one twelve is my like goat 
R and B group. I think I think that they're my favorite. They're my favorite R and B group. And then my nigga Slim came out and started going solo. Wait, I'm so fly. I'm so fly. Crazy. Man, come on now. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, nah, I ain't gonna lie. They got, they definitely got. Shit, they made Little Zane hot, nigga. Bro, they got. I never seen a a a, a, ba- a group of niggas make a rapper hot. That's not that doesn't happen like that. <laughs> they made that nigga Lil Zane they got hot. Heat, bro. Calling me is fire because Lil Zane is a horrible rapper. I'm not gonna say he's horrible. I'm not gonna put. I'm not gonna put that on him. But he's just he's a light skinned pot. He tried, he took pop shit and ran with it. But. Calling on calling me is fucking gas. Yeah. But anyway, it's cracking the eighties. Suck my dick, burn in hell. <laughs> you bitches stink. <laughs> this nigga had a seizure. <laughs> Clear of the closing doors, please.